Okay, so uh, thank you for uh, being here uh, today, Lisa. Uh, so we have Lisa Dunning uh, for the film I drawn to a different puzzle. So we have a few uh, questions for you, uh, Lisa. So um, did you like the subject and how did you relate to it? So I'm a psychotherapist by profession and that's why I really was drawn to this subject because it dealt with um, autism and living with autism, especially as a teenager. And I feel like that's a very important message to get out to. So that's why when Brian showed me the script, I was very intrigued by it. Okay, awesome. So it's part of your uh, field of work. Exactly. Okay. And uh, what did you think of the final product? Uh, did you enjoy it? I was pretty impressed how it turned out. Um, it's a short film, and I really feel like it portrayed what teenagers who, you know what, she had autism, but at the end of the day, everyone has something, no one's perfect. So we all deal with issues, especially being a teenager in high school. You hear about the popular kids and being included and not being included and how that feels. So I feel like, yes, even though the main character um, is autistic, anyone could relate when they are in an environment where they don't feel that they're best or feel left out or feel inadequate. So I feel like it, it goes along the masses. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a super important subject and uh, very interesting. It was super well made, by the way. Congratulations for the film. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, how much did you stick to the script when uh, doing the film? So when I received the script at first with Brian, I looked it over and there was a lot of modifications especially, you know, he trusted me being in the field and being a therapist. I just wanted it to be as authentic as possible. And then we had, when I brought in the actors, we had some rehearsals and the film, I feel like the script evolved depending on what the actors could portray and just the reality of the issues. And so towards the end of the script, when we were ready to film, I feel like we definitely um, stuck to what the film evolved into and feel like it really portrayed what families go through when they struggle with someone who has some disabilities. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And um, where uh, can we follow you for the film? Is there, uh, is there another uh, website where we can see news about the film or a Facebook site, Instagram? Uh... Well, you can follow me personally on um, Lisa at lifesupportinstitute.com and then that could we could put a link to the film. Lisa Samuels Dunning on Instagram. Okay. And um, they could also just search for, you know, the film I drum to a different puzzle and look for, for that as well. Okay, perfect. So I'll put the links under the YouTube uh, recording. Perfect. And uh, yes, uh, the, uh, the film, uh, congratulations, the film is nominated in the Best Narrative Short uh, Category. So uh, we'll keep you updated about the uh, the screening uh, next uh, summer. So there's a, a selection for the screenings, but we would really like to uh, screen your film. So uh, we're in the process of uh, of doing all the, the selections and all. So thank you again for uh, submitting and uh, I'll keep you updated about the uh, the process. No, I appreciate that a lot. I really feel like this film has a great message and. It definitely hope it gets out there so more people could view it. Yes, exactly. It's an important subject. So uh, I'll keep you updated about that. And did you have any questions about the uh, the festival? I don't. I heard it is in the spring and I look forward to it. Okay, great. So thank you so much, Lisa, for being here again today. And uh, I'll keep, I'll send you the link to uh, the recording and I'll keep you uh, updated. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. You too. Thank Bye. you.